What is Role-Based Access Control? Role-Based Access Control, or RBAC, is a cornerstone of modern security practices, offering organizations a systematic and efficient way to manage access to resources. In this comprehensive guide, we'll explore the core principles of RBAC, its benefits, implementation steps, and alternatives. At its core, RBAC is a method of restricting system access based on the role assigned to the individual user. In RBAC, access control decisions are based on a predefined role rather than individuals' identities. Each user is assigned one or more roles, and each role is associated with a set of permissions or privileges. Now let's delve into the benefits of RBAC. Enhanced security is a key advantage, as RBAC ensures that users only have access to the resources necessary for their roles. RBAC also simplifies administration by streamlining the process of managing user access rights. Administrators can assign roles to users, reducing the administrative burden of managing complex access control lists, or ACLs. In addition to improved security and simplified administration, RBAC increases operational efficiency. Users are assigned roles aligned with their responsibilities, reducing the risk of accidental or intentional misuse of system resources. RBAC is highly scalable and flexible, allowing organizations to adapt to changing needs. As new users join the organization or existing users change roles, administrators can easily assign or modify roles. Furthermore, RBAC facilitates compliance with regulatory requirements and industry standards. Organizations can demonstrate a structured approach to access management, which is often required for compliance with regulations such as GDPR, HIPAA, or PCI DSS. Implementing RBAC requires careful planning and consideration. Here are some key steps and considerations for successful deployment. Begin with identifying the different roles within your organization and their corresponding responsibilities. Roles should align with job function and define the level of access required to perform specific tasks. Once roles are identified, determine the permissions and privileges associated with each role. These permissions should be based on the principle of least privilege, granting users only necessary access rights. Assign users to appropriate roles based on their job function and responsibility. Ensure that each user is assigned only the role necessary for their work. Establish mechanisms for assigning roles to users, whether through manual assignment by administrators or through automated processes based on user attributes. Configure the system to enforce RBAC policies and control access based on assigned roles. Integrate RBAC into existing access control mechanisms and ensure alignment with security policies and regulatory requirements. Thoroughly test the RBAC implementation to ensure it functions as intended. Conduct testing scenarios to verify that users have access to the resources they need while being restricted from unauthorized resources. Also, educate users, administrators, or other stakeholders about the RBAC system and provide training on how to assign roles, manage permissions, and understand access control mechanisms. Finally, let's explore some alternatives to RBAC that offer different approaches and features. Attribute-Based Access Control, or ABAC, is a flexible access control model that uses attributes to define access policies. It considers various attributes, such as users' attributes, resource attributes, and environmental attributes. Mandatory Access Control, or MAC, is a security model where access decisions are based on labels assigned to subjects and objects. MAC ensures strict control over access permissions and is commonly used in high security environments. Discretionary Access Control, or DAC, is a model where access decisions are at the discretion of the resource owner. While providing flexibility, DAC may lack centralized control compared to RBAC or other models. Role-Based Dynamic Access Control, or RBDAC, combines RBAC and ABAC to provide dynamic access control based on roles and attributes. It enables context-aware access decisions by considering both role assignments and attribute values. Rule-Based Access Control, or RUBAC, uses rules to define access permissions, allowing for more complex access control policies. It provides flexibility, but may require more effort to manage and maintain. Each access control model has its own strengths and weaknesses, and the choice depends on the specific requirements and security needs of the organization. By understanding the principles of RBAC, implementing best practices, and exploring alternative models, organizations can establish robust access control mechanisms to protect sensitive resources and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. 
be sure to check out some of our other videos from the DevOps Academy to learn more about modern software delivery. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content on software development and technology.